This is the fastest I have ever edited one of my videos. And it was in Premiere Pro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And I thought I had a great system down for cutting my YouTube videos. I would get the base cut of the A-roll or the talking head cut down fairly fast in Final Cut Pro. And it was manually cutting out the silences and any false starts and repeat takes. Next, I would add the B-roll to finish it off. Then I started using the edit assistant tool called Gling that goes through and automatically removes the silences and bad takes from your clip. And this I thought was the bee's knees in saving heaps of time. It was truly like having an assistant editor doing a very rough cut. It saves so much time than having to go through all the silences and all those repeat takes for YouTube videos. But all that can compare to how fast I was able to edit my last video using Gling and Premiere Pro together. And that's because recently Premiere Pro has been going through a little bit of a resurgence. They have added some key features like background save, lots of under the hood stabilization and reliability improvements, the caption feature, and most recently the text based editing. And this is the thing that I want to try out in combination with Gling. Have Gling do the base edit and then use the transcription tools in Premiere Pro to do an A roll edit. And man oh man, was it smooth and enjoyable. Honestly, these are words that I did not think I would be saying in reference to Premiere Pro. I'm excited about what Adobe is doing with it and how hard they are pushing with every release to add very useful AI tools to all their apps. Anyway, let me show you how this all works. So after you're done your recording, drop it into Gling, select your file. And when it's done, it'll go through and give you all the selects. This is where I do a quick glance of the transcript and see if it cut out the things that I wanted to cut out and it's keeping the things that I want. Um, and sometimes I will go back and add in some other takes and you can just select what you want and play it and just listen to that take or you can just cut out the whole thing. Again, like Gling is so, it's very simple to use. You can actually just, you can just select a piece of a line and cut that out. I made a whole video talking about Gling exclusively. There is a video link in the description. So once you've gone through and did a spot check for your transcript, then you can just go to export to Premiere Pro, save it where you wanna save it. And then you can go into Premiere Pro, then go to import, right click, go to import, find the XML that you're working with, press import, double click on your clip. In most cases, it should automatically start transcribing the sequence. And if you don't see the same view as I do, you can actually go to workspaces and then click on text-based editing. And the layout will happen the same way I have it right here. So then you just wait for it to transcribe. So at this point, this is as far as Gling can get you and you have to take it on from here. And normally what I would do is I would look, I would play back and listen to the audio of the entire clip. But because this is a video that I did, and I'm way more comfortable with it, I'm actually able to start going through the transcript and seeing parts of the transcript that I don't want and I can just cut it out right away. I can see where the duplicates are, the extra takes that I had, and just start deleting them and just select individual words and literally just start going through and deleting it. And this is something that I have done many, many times where it's literally a paper edit where a producer or a writer will go through the all all the footage that was there and with time codes based on the transcript and the clip they would give you the time code for when the clip was set and where they want it to be instead of having to go manually search for it i can now i can type in words and find them or even phrases and find them directly in this text to edit but for right now this is for my own youtube videos where i'm just getting used to being able to go in and literally edit based on the text from the script and cut out directly from the edit in the timeline and only keep what I want. And I can watch it as I as I play here. And so for my last video, I went through this and just played it and was able to watch the text and listen and quickly just delete everything I wanted, literally down to the word. So instead of trying to find the audio waveform, I was able to literally find the words up until the letter and just quickly cut that out. And because it's all linked, so I just wanna get rid of that one line, press delete. You can just select the words that you want, press delete, and it separates it. You can actually get rid of any pauses that are there. That's an edit. 
This is one giant step ahead of just looking at the waveform. You can actually look at the words and edit out precisely exactly what you need. And this speeds up the entire process. And it makes me really excited because I'm able to now knowingly do this moving forward where I can get my videos out faster. That's the whole point of using these kind of tools, getting the idea down on paper as a script, recording it, running through all the takes, getting the best one, importing it in, and then getting that base edit done. Because getting the A-roll and the bass down allows me to get to the creative part, the B-roll and the sound effects and just finessing it faster. That's where the fun is. Because once I've recorded the video, I want to get to the polishing state as quickly as possible. And so being able to use Gling to do the rough edit and then to use Premiere Pro to do the finessing of the paper edit, this has been the fastest I've been able to get a project done. I'm actually looking forward to doing the next video again. Because for my channel, I already have the broadcast package all set. So I just drop those in. So being able to do that in any editing software, it just means that I'm going to be able to get these videos done faster, which is a huge win for me. And if you are wondering, Gling does have a free trial for your first video up to two hours of footage. And they also have a paid subscription. But if you have a YouTube channel, you can use Gling for free. I'll leave a link in the description that tells you all the details. If you have a channel with 100 subscribers or more, you'll be able to use Gling for free for every single video, as long as you follow their guidelines. Over the last couple of months, I've been super excited about editing and the creativeness with all these tools and how they just speed up the monotony and the tedious parts of the process. So if this is something that you do day in, day out, you need to combine all the tools that are coming because they will speed up the process. And knowing how to use these tools will allow you to be more efficient with your time when you're working on these kind of jobs. Now, DaVinci Resolve also has a new text-based editing feature as well. But I have found myself using Premiere Pro more and more and am overall excited about what Adobe is doing with all their apps. Like in this video where I show how crazy the new AI generative fill in Photoshop is. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching. Two for two Adobe, Photoshop, and now Premiere Pro. Looking forward to what's next.